Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. It's go Fanny Lungo back with another reaction video. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Thank you for 21,000 subscribers. You guys are the best. Keep subscribing, liking, commenting, sharing everything that you guys do. We really do appreciate. Please motivate me by giving me stuff to react to. Just give me the name or the link down below and I'll be sure to check it out. Find our vlogging channel called Fanny and Jesse 2.0. Head there, subscribe and enjoy the vlogs that we put out. So today I'm going to be reacting to Ami Didat Lecture Christ in Islam Question and Answer CD 0108 So without wasting time, let's get into the video Mr. Chairman, I believe that this book contains the word of God Mr. Ahmad Didat, would you kindly explain to me if you would like to turn to 2 Corinthians 13, 14 and explain to me Mr. Didat what it really says there. If you had that in your mind, you better ask me the question. You don't expect me to do homework for you, open the book, read it to you, read it to the people, wasting my time and the people's time. If you know what you want, please ask your question. What is your question? Can you explain the Trinity unto me, Mr. Didat? What is that? The Trinity. Uh, was that the subject we were discussing this evening? Trinity? We were discussing, were we discussing Trinity or Muhammad, the natural successor to Christ? What were we discussing? Mr. Didat, you have denied the word of God from the very word A. And I, I, will, I will just challenge you, Mr. Didat, if I may. Already it seems that I'm, I'm not allowed to. But I would love you to explain the Trinity, Mr. Didat. All right, I'll explain to you. Thank you. You see, the Trinity is something that existed in the pagan world long before Jesus was born. The Romans had that trinity, the Hindus had that trinity. And this trinity which the Christians are following today is not the teaching of Jesus Christ. You see, there is only one verse in the Christian Bible, the one that you're holding now, where trinity is explained in the most simple and easy language, most distinctively. And that is the first epistle of John Chapter 5, verse 7, where it says, For there are three that bear witness in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost, and these three are one. That is the closest to what the Christians believe in what they call the Holy Trinity. But that verse now has been thrown out of this Bible. And all modern translations of the Bible have thrown it out as a fabrication, as an interpolation. I wonder if you know about that. All the modern translations of the Bible, they have thrown it out as an, as an interpolation, a fabrication. Do you know about that? Carry on. Thank you very much. Could we carry on to the next person? Hold it, please. Silence. Next question, um, please. Sir, I didn't, as you said, now bring the script to Mr. Ahmadidat. Mr. Ahmadidat, what do you think about those two scriptures? Um, Deuteronomium, as you know it, 18.18, where it says, I will raise them up a prophet from among their brethren like unto thee, and put my words in his mouth, and he shall speak unto them all that I shall command him. That's one. First thing, to who did Moses speak? Thank you. Is that, that is your right. question, eh? To whom did Moses speak? Right? Yeah. Moses didn't speak those words. Those words were spoken by God to Moses. No, I don't ask. I ask, to whom did Moses speak? I don't ask. I know God speak, but it, the people with him, who was that people with him? Was it Arabians, Egyptians, in a way, or Sodomites? Who was the people with him? Or you mean around him when he whatever was revealed to him to whom did he first convey that message is that what you want to know yes right. right he was speaking to the children of israel in the first place. right thank right. you now here is the question to use chapter 15 you say that this was Moha moses said this going to be Muhammad, but listen to this. Here it says, 
It says here, but he answered and not a word, and his disciples came and besought him, saying, Send her away, for she cried after us. But he answered and said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Who was then that? Thank you. Next question, please. Yes, good evening, sir. Good evening. Uh, <clears throat> Mr. Didat, it is quite certain that you've made some deep studies into the Bible. And now, any casual reader of the Bible will know, as you will admit, that the Holy Spirit is spoken of as being present on the earth since creation. In Genesis already, the Spirit of God moved upon the deep. But Jesus spoke of a, the Holy Spirit coming in a different way. As a, one of the former questions was, was, was confused, you see, because it is quite easy to become confused with this vast crowd. You must be quite at home with the crowd like this, but, you know, uh, and, 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 and we're not trained for these things. No, so give is, me... What is the question? The question is this, Mr. Dida, do you admit that the Holy Spirit was on earth you prove that in fact all before Christ right from creation when Jesus spoke of his coming of the promised comforter surely he spoke of the Holy Spirit as coming in a different way because formerly the Holy Spirit abided with them but now he would live inside of them eternally it could not be Muhammad as you or, or, or the Quran the teachings of Muhammad because it speaks of a person a he Muhammad is not with us now so you, you answer the a former questioner by saying that the teachings of Muhammad has been with us all these years but the comforter is not the teachings of Muhammad the comforter according to you is Muhammad now the Bible says Jesus said this comforter abides with us eternally which means you are trying to tell us Muhammad is here with us now and abides with us all through. Thank you. If you read the scriptures once more again, your Gospel of St. Luke, you will read there about Lazarus or Dykes. You know that there was a fellow simmering in hell and he wanted Abraham to send somebody to dip his finger in the water and put it in his mouth. So he said, now look, between you and us there is a barrier which we can't cover. So the man made a request, the one in hell. He said, allow me to go back and warn my brethren about the punishment that is awaiting them here if they don't mend their ways. So the answer that was given to them, that they have Moses and the prophets. Do you remember that verse? Have you heard that verse before? That they have Moses and the prophets. Is Moses here with us today? But that's what the Bible says. That they have Moses and the prophets. So Moses and the prophets, what it means is this, that in their teaching Moses is with you. The prophets are with you in their teachings Likewise, in an identical manner, Muhammad is with us in his teaching. You don't have to be physically present. Jesus is with us in his teaching. The words which he gave, they are with us. So he is with us. Moses, the teaching he gave, the Ten Commandments, they are with us. Moses is with us. So it is not a physical with and not with. It is the teaching that they are talking about. That in the teaching, Moses is with us. In the teaching, Jesus is with us. In the teaching, Muhammad is with us. And Muhammad's teachings are going to abide forever. And Jesus told you, and I kept on repeating, that he says, if I go not away, the comforter will not come. But if I go, I will send him. In other words, he was not talking about the Holy Ghost, because the Holy Ghost was helping him in his ministry, helping the disciples in the ministry. And as you said, from the beginning of creation, the Holy Spirit was with everybody. So he was not talking about that. He's talking about somebody who will guide you into all truth, solve all your problems. And for 40 years I've been asking learned men of Christendom, including your good self, I only want one new thing. One new thing that the Holy Ghost gave you in 2000 years, which Jesus Christ could not have given you because of your hard-headedness. 
Brother, uh, thank you very much. Could I put it to you this way? There are, besides yourself, there are one, two, three, four, five, six people standing. But you see, it is very misleading if someone puts a question and Mr. Didat gives his any answer he can give and the people will accept it because I can't tell him now, but that is wrong. He can give any answer, anything he can say. But because I must get off now, it means everybody will go away with his answers. So the questioning is even more dangerous than the lecture. <laughs> Sorry, just hold it, brother, before you start. There are six of you there. We have time for three. Um, not to disregard or dis dismiss the first people, but uh, the last person that asked the question is talking about um, the Trinity, which is a very, very good um, topic. Because if you don't want to believe, I'm just thinking to myself, I think that answer was fair. And uh, the comments the guy that asked the question makes at the end is also fair, which says uh, he can give any answer, but you have to go with whatever he says. If anything, anyone teaching you something or anyone who wants, to, who wants you to learn something will tell you, don't always agree with what I say. Always ask questions. And I wish they would, they would have had more time this day to ask further questions um, so that the guy can be um, satisfied. It's not, all, it's not always about accepting someone's answers. Sometimes ask yourself more questions. And if you find yourself with more questions, go back to the person and talk about it. Um, although I'm quite fine with I mean, to that answer in this situation. How I how are people going to believe that Jesus is with us, Moses is with us, but won't believe that Muhammad is with us if they so believe that Muhammad was a messenger of God? Because then there's a contradiction created there. And concerning the Holy Ghost and the Spirit of the Holy Ghost, if it was with Jesus then and he said uh, the comfort I won't come if I'm there then don't you think it's something beyond the Holy Ghost the spirit of the Holy Ghost um, otherwise it was interesting to watch interesting to see and that's lovely to listen to let me know what you guys think if there's anything you want me to react to let me know down below make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next reaction video